Hi everybody, welcome back to the cottage. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all the support. Um, I'm, I have over 200 subscribers now, I'm very excited about that. Um, if you're finding yourself on this channel for the first time, welcome. My name is Amy. We do daily pick a cards. I do post Monday through Friday. We do messages for soulmates and separation. We do a lot of love pick a cards here, but mostly we just have a lot of fun and it's a mixed bag. So if, if you like inclusivity, light and love, that is the space that we try to create here. So pull up a chair, grab yourself a cup of tea and let's have a chat. We're all friends at my table. So today's pick a card is going to be about one year from today. So I do have three piles in front of you here. We have pile one with Anna. We have pile two with Rapunzel. We have pile three with Elsa. Again, I'm not affiliated with Disney in any way, just using toys around my house. Um, so one year from today, what's going to be going on in your lives? What's going to be happening? Could be a, you could be thinking about love. You could be thinking about money, um, career, anything really. Um, whichever pile is calling out to you, the timestamps will be listed below. If you already know, just go ahead and pick your timestamps. Otherwise, pause the video, sink into your body, take a deep breath, and just whichever pile is calling out to you. Where will you be? What will be happening in your lives one year from today? I'm going to go ahead and start with group number one. Group one, all of you chose the Anna pile here. Group one, this is your reading. I can't stand her up. That's why I had them. She won't stand. <laughs> so here we'll start with your animal spirit card. You guys have the phoenix. This is fantastic. So the phoenix, everyone really already knows about that. Um, it's just about transformation and rebirth. So you guys, I feel some of you are working on something, new projects. Um, you could be working on new relationships. Um, but you guys, by the, this time next year, are really going to be uh, experiencing a huge transformation. The Phoenix is all about renewal. And there's a lot of fire energy here. It's, it reminds me of, like, the sun. Like, it's bursting into flames. Like, you guys are going to be finally coming into your power, coming into your own. It's like this, the moon that goes to sleep every night. The sun dies every night and is reborn every day. That's the sort of energy you guys are going to be in one year from today. Just a rebirth, an awakening of some kind. For your angel cards, this is the only group that had three angel cards fall out. So, relationship harmony, okay? So... We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So I do feel for some of you, you guys are experiencing some relationship conflict um, currently. A year from today, that's going to be resolved. Your angels are working on it. Um, you guys don't need to stress about that if you're asking about relationship. All is well. Everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to with hidden blessings you will soon understand. So again, for those of you who are struggling right now, if there's a lot of conflict in your life, a year from today... Everything is going to be coming full circle. You guys are going to be rising from the ashes of, of whatever tr struggle or turmoil you turmoil, excuse me, <laughs> that you guys are experiencing currently. And your last card is outdoors. Go outside. So your angels are really telling some of you guys that you need to get outside and connect with nature. Um, you know, go hiking. It really does relieve stress to get out and, and breathe in the fresh air. So currently, I do feel you guys right now are, are some of you guys are struggling. You guys are struggling with some relationship issues. Um, but a year from now, your spirit card here is promising a renewal, a rebirth for you guys. Let's see what your tarot has to say. A year from, to from today, from now... <laughs> What will be happening with group one? All of those who chose Anna. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups. So we're going to do like a, a past, present, and future sort of energy. So currently I do feel like you guys are feeling a little insecure. You guys aren't feeling um, as powerful or in your own power as you could be. Again, here with the Phoenix coming up a year from now. The Queen of Cups in the reverse speaks to me about um, someone who's just really insecure. It can... It can represent like an addiction it can represent you know someone who's struggling with some kind of addiction it can be an addiction to a person it can be addiction to a substance it doesn't really matter um but she just talks to me about someone who's emotionally um feeling really insecure in the present energy so you guys maybe currently are feeling kind of 
insecure, but the back of the deck I did see um, in the school. So some of you I feel are currently um, considering embarking on a brand new adventure. Okay, so we do have here. Okay, so currently you guys are deciding to make a decision. The two of wands are all about here. <clears throat> the two of wands are all about, you know, visions and travels and making decisions. So some of you are thinking about making a move. It could be a move in your career. I do feel some of you guys are making a move um, in your personal lives as far as relationships. You guys are really currently in an energy of like deciding where you should be, whether you should stay, whether you should go. Okay, so there's some some sorrow and some pain and, and some regret that you guys are currently trying to fall away from. And that's great. A year from now, I do feel you guys are going to be stepping away from all of the pain of the past. And stepping away, the Four of Cups in the reverse speaks to me about um, having a new outlook, a new direction. There's a new outlook, a new direction coming for you guys um, a year from now. You guys are going to be moving away from this insecurity. You're may currently making that decision, and you guys are stepping away from this pain, moving away from the boredom, from the apathy. So a year from now, you guys are going to be moving into positive new energy. I do see her at the back of the deck. I do see the Queen of Swords, and she is kind of like a, a cutting energy. She cuts people out of their, her life when she needs to. And I do feel like saying, this won't resonate for all of you, but some of you, um, you guys are currently taking steps towards maybe cutting um, someone out of your life that makes you feel insecure, someone that's not there for your highest good. Um, currently, you guys are, are making that decision. And you will, most of you, make that decision to walk away from that energy. A year from today, what will be going on with group number one, a year from today. So a year from today, you guys are going to be having a lot more fun. There's going to be a lot more socializing. A lot of you will be going out more. Again, I do feel some of you will be embarking on like a brand new single life. Um, some of you who are tethered down in a relationship right now or who are having struggles in your relationship, I feel like you guys are going to be doing a lot more socializing, a lot more gathering. The Three of Cups is about having fun and celebration. So that is a very good sign for the future to come a year from today what will group one be doing a year from today what will be happening in their lives the moon okay so the moon talks to us about um intuition it talks about us following our intuition it talks about sometimes people wearing masks i do feel like um, currently the insecurity for you guys is coming from somebody who's not being completely truthful in your lives. That is in the past energy though. So that's the good news is that this is past energy that we're feeling that you guys are feeling like maybe someone's not being truthful here in the current energy, the hanged man, it's like a self, it's a self suspension. We see that here as well with the two of wands, trying to make a decision, a self suspension, trying to move away from, um, pain and move away from just surrendering and sacrificing yourself to fate. I do feel like you guys are currently um, making decisions in your life right now that are going to affect you one year from now. Um, this self-suspension, this letting go, this, you know, releasing yourself to fate is going to be able to cause this huge um, rebirth for you one year from today. It may, it, I'm not saying that it's going to happen, um, you know, exactly one year from today, obviously. <laughs> okay. So one year from today, you guys could have a brand new love offer coming in for some of you, group one. The Knight of Wands is a romance type of feeling. This, this person charges in with all the bells and whistles. They're romantic. They're passionate. They're just, it's like a knight in shining armor type of feeling. So you guys are going to be stepping away from the pain, confusion, loss, regret of the past. And some of you are going to be meeting new and exciting. Here on the back of the deck, we do have the Page of Cups. Brand new love coming in for you guys. This could be part of your rebirth, part of your, you know, your 
ascension out of, of this insecurity. Um, this new page of cups, you know, he brings in news. He brings in new love offers. He's, his, I feel a lot of Pisces energies here. It's just like a new message is coming. A new love offer is coming for you guys. Okay, we have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. So the Ace of Wands talks to me about clarity, mental clarity. Um, when I see it in the, in the reverse position, um, there can be some delays, some false starts. You guys could have a, a love offer coming in that um, doesn't quite make it off the ground, perhaps a year from now. Um, but there's still gonna be a lot of celebrating. Um, and you guys have gained so much mental clarity over the course of this year as far as what your needs are in a relationship, as far as what you guys want to see, that um, this energy can easily be turned around for sure. Ooh. Year from today. And see what we have happening in this Shadowscapes deck. A couple more cards for you for group one. Oops. This deck is so hard for me to shuffle. It's such a stiff deck. One year from today. What is the major energy one year from today? Okay, so we're going to have some decision makings again one year from today. After rising from the ashes, some of you are still going to be um, doing a lot of juggling. Um, here with these new love offers, these could be two separate love offers. These could be two se separate love offers that are coming in whilst you guys are in this period of celebration. Um, and it could be a lot of juggling for you guys. And you guys are going to need to... I'm sorry if you guys can hear that. My dog is dreaming. and He's having a nightmare. Um, so some of you are going to be juggling um, a, lot of, a lot of responsibilities. Some of you might be juggling a couple of people in the future. Here on the back of the deck, though, we do have the Sun card. So I do feel, again, this is a great way to end the reading. The Sun card is, is all about joy, um, the completion of your dreams and hopes. We, it really matches well here with the Phoenix. It matches really well here with the Phoenix. It's rising above the... There's so much beauty and joy waiting for you guys a year from today. Um, you guys may currently be in, in a period of making a decision to move away from negativity in your life, and that decision is going to bring in a couple new love offers, I feel like, for you guys. A couple new love offers. Um, there's going to be some indecision and a little bit of um, a mental muddle coming with that, but I do feel like you guys are going to come out on top. You guys are going to rise from the ashes a year from today. Okay, group one? So a year from today, you guys have a lot of wonderful things waiting for you, new love offers, new exciting times, lots of fun, lots of hangouts. And again, you guys are going to have a rebirth. An awakening is coming for you guys. Okay, group one, if that resonated with you, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I love to hear all of them. Um, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. I do post Monday through Friday. There's always something new, always something different. Um, otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and start with group number two. Bye, guys. Hi guys, all of you who chose group number two with the Rapunzel doll. This is going to be your reading. What's going to be happening for you guys one year from today? So I will be doing a past, present, and then a future energy for you guys with the tarot. But we're going to start here with your animal spirit. And you guys got the camel. So this is an interesting um, spirit animal. This camel is a survivor. Um, when you think about the camel in the in the wild, it's about not taking anything for granted. They they store water. You know they can go a long time without eating. They can go a long time with without drinking. And this is um, sort of the energy that you guys are going to be in a year from today. It's like not taking things for granted in survival mode, and really appreciating everything you have, even as small as like water, as small as food on the table, as a, a roof over your head. You guys are going to be feeling really grateful a year from today. It's also an animal that reminds us about constant change. Camels in, in the wild are always on the move. Um, your, your world is constantly changing and you're a survivor and that's what this camel spirit really speaks to me about. So for your angel cards we have divine order. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. So again survivors, something's feeling askew with you guys right now. You're not feeling very 
confident right now. Uh, courage. That's interesting. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. Again, it's interesting that these cards are coming up because some of you I feel like are struggling right now um, and you're being asked to be courageous. You have to remember who you are and you are a survivor. Some of you guys have been through a lot. I feel the heaviness of that. See what your tarot has to say. What is going on in the future? What's going to be happening a year from now? What is the current energy, though, for you? Group two. What's going to happen for group two a year from today? Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles. I do feel some um, insecurity right now, currently, for you guys. The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse position um, speaks to me about um, just someone being stubborn, maybe somebody not putting in all the work that they need to put into, but somebody just being really stubborn. There's an immaturity as well with this card. And we have the Four of Cups. Someone is really um, in their feels and sort of thinking, of, they're disappointed. They're withdrawing and they're kind of looking into the past. They're kind of focusing on the past. Um, I don't know if some of you are feeling um, a little bit of heartbreak or focusing on currently focusing on um, the loss of someone. We'll get more cards for clarity. What is coming for future? It's for the future of group two. What's coming a year from today? Okay, so we do have the Queen of Wands in the future position so the queen of wands is all about a passionate she's she's a passionate and creative person um she's courageous as well one of the cornerstone words for me for this card is courage we do have the courage card here and it's interesting that they're coming up right underneath one another um a year from today you guys are going to be coming into your own power and being asked to be really courageous but what we will remains to be seen. We'll see what else pops up. What is happening? What is coming for group two a year from today? Okay, so we do see the Ace of Pentacles. It could be new job opportunities for you guys coming. For some of you asking about career, there could be a new job opportunity um, coming for you. New financial opportunities or a windfall, some sort of wealth coming in, which is probably good news for you guys. Maybe some of you have been struggling a lot with finances. We do see here the, the Knight of Pentacles, which can, of course... You know, the pentacles are all about earth energy. Coming for a year from today with group two. The page of pentacles as well. The page of pentacles is um, about manifestation and financial opportunity. I do feel like group two, some of you are going to be moving into a new job or a new career. It's going to be bringing in some financial abundance for you that you guys have been waiting for for a while. I feel like you guys have been waiting for it for a while because we do have the chariot in the reverse, which is an action card, but it's kind of a slow action card. Uh, it doesn't charge forward the way that the chariot in the upright position does. The chariot in the reverse um, sometimes speaks to me about a feeling of wanting to give up. I feel like you guys are currently um, struggling. We see here the hanged man in the reverse. The hanged man in the reverse position. You know, the hanged man is about a self-imposed a self-imposed suspension and letting go. When we see it in the reverse, it's like refusing to let go. Not wanting to let go of, of the past. Or sometimes there's just blockages. Sometimes we have blockages, financial blockages. Um, I see insecurity and I see... Um, almost like letting your stresses affect your physical health with the queen of pentacles in the reverse position. Again, I do see that some of you have been struggling financially. Um, you guys have been waiting for um, not necessarily a windfall to come through, but new opportunities to come through. And we do see um, new job offers and new opportunities. Could be love offers with these as well, but I am feeling a lot of earth energy here. Okay, so here we have the death card. 
people get scared of the death card, but this is actually a beautiful, beautiful card. It's about transformation and renewal. Um, it's about endings. And I feel like this is the ending of your financial struggles for some of you. You guys are going to be rising from the ashes with this new offer, whether it be a job offer or whether it be a love offer. It's going to cause a huge transition. The death card is a major arcana. We're asked to pay attention to those. Um, you have quite a few here, actually, you know, with the chariot and the hanged man and then all the death card. You're being asked to release and transition into this new energy. Be courageous. And also, I, I feel like saying that there is divine order. Like some of you needed to learn these lessons of lack in order to move forward in your soul journey. That's the hermit in the reverse. So you guys are going to be um, ready to um, rejoin the world. The hermit is about, you know, withdrawing into yourself and, but you guys are ready to rejoin the world now. Um, in the future, a year from now, you guys are moving into a brand new power. You guys are moving into a brand new energy with this death card, with this new transition this new beginning. Um, some of you, I do feel it's in the form of a new job that's going to cause um, some financial windfall or stability for you, but you guys are rejoining the world. Got a couple of different cards for you from one of the decks for the last couple of cards for two. So basically, you guys are being asked um, to hold tight everything's happening as it should be right now and to just have courage because you guys are survivors and you guys are going to have a rebirth and a, a brand new it looks like a financial opportunity again it doesn't have to it can be a love offer but i'm sensing a lot of financial gain here these cards are difficult for me to shuffle because they're big and i have little short fingers okay year from now group two Okay, so we have the Page of Cups as well a year from now for you guys, which again is a new love offer, brand new um, relationships. So not only are some of you going to be having new job offers coming in, which are going to lead to some financial abundance for you and rejoining the world, but you're also going to, this rebirth, this transition a year from now is also going to bring in abundance in every area. So it's going to bring in financial abundance. It's going to bring in new love offers. And look at this cup, like this cup is runneth over <laughs> with love. One more card for you. Is there a whole bunch that fell out? I just saw the Page of Swords um, in the back of the deck. That could be somebody who you, this new love offer coming in could be somebody that you already are aware of or somebody that's already watching your social media. Someone that already knows you could be commenting on your social media, could be liking your photos, but that could be the new love offer that's coming in for some of you a year from now. I know a year seems like a long time, but it really will go by fast. Okay. We have the Nine of Cups, which is about you know, the fulfill, fulfillment of your wishes, your dreams come true. The Nine of Cups is about satisfaction and happiness. So I do feel like for those of you who have this love offer coming in, um, this love offer is going to be perhaps a love offer that leads to your marriage. Again, here we have the Page of Swords again on the back of the deck. This person is already watching your social media. They're already aware of you. They're already creeping you online, so to speak. Okay, group two, so for some of you, you have a new love offer coming in. Some of you also have some new financial abundance coming in, a definite rebirth, but you're, you're reminded that everything's happening as it's supposed to right now, that you need courage and, and stamina as well. You guys are courageous. You guys have stamina and you're survivors, so you guys are going to be just fine. So group two, that is your message. If you have any comments, I'd love to hear them. Uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos, I'd like to hear those as well. Just leave it in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. I do post Monday through Friday, and I'm always posting something different. So hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything you might be interested in. 
Otherwise, I hope to see you guys here on another day at the cottage, and I'm going to go ahead and move on to group number three. Bye, guys. Hi, group three. Sorry, three. All of you who chose Elsa. This is your reading. So we're going to start with where with your spirit deck and where will you be one year from today? Um, what is your general energy? Uh, you guys got the golden egg. So when we think about the golden egg, we think about like there's so much potential for life in an egg. We think about the golden egg. I think about financial abundance. I think about abundance in general, but we also think about the egg and how fragile it is and how it's like holding a secret and it's, it's protecting something that isn't quite ready to join the world yet. So for some of you, I feel like you guys are currently working on a project. I feel some of you might have children this time next year or, or find out that you're pregnant perhaps. We'll see what the other cards say gentleness be very gentle with yourself this time surround yourself with gentle people situations and environments yeah for some of you i do feel um a strong sort of child vibe or pregnancy vibe here you're taking it easy on yourself gifts from god <laughs> we angels bring you gifts from your creator open your arms to receive so this golden egg some of you are working on a project that's not quite ready some of you are, are going to be pregnant by next time this time next year and it is going to be a big gift from God but whatever whatever little secret is hiding in this egg um, is a gift and you guys are, are asked to be gentle with yourselves in regards to that gift so we'll see what your tarot has to say group three where will they be one year from today what's gonna be happening with group three Group three. What's happening with group three one year from today? This time next year, what's going to be going on? Okay, so the strength card. It's a beautiful card to come up. There's a lot of Leo energy. You could be a Leo or you could have um, fire in your chart. But like the strength is just that. It talks about... It talks about inner strength. It talks about having power. It talks about um, control. You see that this person is like taming the lion. Um, you guys are... are it's interesting that it's showing up here right underneath this golden egg. There's such beautiful colors together. Um, there's also the infin infinity symbol. You're just being asked to be courageous. And having inner strength, inner power. Oh, that's a lot of cards. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles here. Um, I do feel um, some of you will be having... Um, an offer coming through it could be a love offer it could be a new job opportunity the ace of pentacles talks about a new financial opportunity or a new job maybe a windfall of some kind it can also be like a love offer coming out of the blue we'll see what the other cards are saying for you oops okay so we have the Page of Cups here. So there is a love offer coming for some of you. The page is about new <laughs> new loves, new beginnings, a message of happiness coming through. So this could be, this could be for some of you, um, again, these messages are for the collective. So it can re you may not um, resonate with all of them. Some of you are going to have a new job opportunity. Some of you are having a new love opportunity coming up. We have here the Five of Swords here in the reverse as well. So, and that... Sorry, not in the verse as well. In reverse, the five of swords is about conflict. Um, but the good news is that in the reverse, it's about walking away from that. Walking away from and having a fair fight almost. Walking away from conflict. Mm. My cards are flipping all over the place here. Knight of Wands in the reverse. 
The Knight of Wands in the reverse, when we see the Knight of Wands, we think of a passionate offer galloping in. When we see the Knight in the reverse, um, it's like someone who's impulsive. Someone who is too impulsive. Um, some of you might be dealing with a partner that is too impulsive or a new love offer that is just coming in way more quickly than you would like. Get some clarity on these cards here. What's happening a year from today? Okay, so I do feel some of you are currently losing sleep and having a lot of anxiety or depression concerning um, just mental anguish concerning uh, a relationship. You're losing sleep right now or some sort of situation, some sort of project you guys could be working on that's not working out or some sort of relationship that hasn't worked out the way you wanted. And you, you've had to really be strong or you've been asked to be very strong in, the, in that past energy. The world. I do feel like there's been some resistance to change leading up to this point. Like these are the past energies. We have the current energies and we have the, the future energies coming. Um, there's been some resistance currently right now to change. The world um, is like unfinished business and delays or problems. You guys have been frustrated lately. Okay, so we have here the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse position. And the Eight of Pentacles in reverse is like trying to repair something that was broken, putting a lot of work into repair something that has not had the focus that you needed it to have. The page, it's coming up right underneath the Page of Cups here. So I feel like you guys are currently embarking on a new relationship. And for some of you, the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse tells us that there's like a lack of, it's almost like a perfectionism with this card. There's a lack of, of focus or something. I'm going to get a, a clarity card on that one. The temperance in the reverse. You're feeling very unbalanced at the moment. And we also have here the, the eight of wands, which is about movement. They really, you really are ready to move into this new energy. Um, I'm feeling a lot of frustration. There's going to be news coming in very, very quickly. Now let's see what's going to be happening for you a year from today. What's going to be going on with that golden egg? What's going to be happening for you a year from today, group three? What's going on in your lives? Here we have the five of swords in the upright position. This is, this is again, this is about... Um, conflict and arguments you guys have had some like i let me draw a few more cards there's conflicts and arguments that could be causing a lot of stress or caused a lot of sleeplessness in the past okay okay so the King of Cups in the reverse position as well. The King of Cups, it's like emotional manipulation, which is, could have caused all of this conflict for you guys in the past here, all of this heartbreak, this sleeplessness, asking you to draw upon your inner strength in order to get through it. Um, and I do see here that um, a lot of, like, the Seven of Cups is about fantasies and illusions, Fantasies and illusions and, and having a lot of choices to make. Some of you have a lot of choices to make in your love life. So you guys have a lot of options. <laughs> but here in the future is this Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is, is romantic and loving. It, it's like your Prince Charming is coming in. So I do feel for some of you guys, um, one year from today, you guys are going to be embarking on a brand new romance. Brand new romance with your Prince Charming. It doesn't have to be male or female. It's just, you know, how I <laughs> interpret the cards. But 
Some of you are embarking on a brand new love offer. I do feel like for some of you, like this golden egg here, this will be something that is going to come about with this love offer. I do feel some of you will be um, embarking on a pregnancy next year. A secret, a little secret that you guys are keeping safe. We do have here the Five of Pentacles as well. That's sorrow and loss and sadness. I'm going to get clarity on the Five of Pentacles. Some of you have maybe been struggling financially. Some of you have been are feeling currently heartbroken. These are really kind of go hand in hand. You're just feeling obliterated. The Three of Swords is about being completely heartbroken, completely devastated. But you have gifts of from God coming. You have this this little golden egg that's just coming. New opportunity. Some of you have been feeling almost um, have been having problems with your health. Maybe I just saw the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Stress leading to like health issues. Or some of you are dealing with um, conflict due to, um, I, I want to say conflict due to infertility. Whoops. But we have news, good news coming. King of Swords is about mental clarity. And the King of Swords is really a... And with that, King of Swords is going to be this Page of Cups, which is a new love offer. Again, we see the new love offer coming in here with the Knight of Cups. We see the Page of Cups, and we see the mental clarity that's coming along with it. A year from today, you guys are going to be moving away from this heartbreak, moving away um, from the sorrow of the Five of Pentacles energy, and you guys are going to be moving into um, a, an abundance of love that's going to bring with it some mental clarity for you. And with it, some sort of new project some sort of new abundance. This does not have to be in the form of children. It can be like some sort of job offer or new job or new embarkment. I do see a lot of cups here, a lot of romantic type of feelings. For a lot of you, it may not even be like this golden egg, this little, you know, this shell that's protecting something so precious it can just be this new love. It's going to protect, like, this new mental clarity that you're gaining is going to be protecting this new love that you have in your life, this precious new love. Again, for some of you, I do feel that there are children in the future that's going to come along with all this romance. <laughs> okay, group three, if that resonated for you, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Um, it really, really helps us out. Hit the notification bell. I do post Monday through Friday. There's always a different reading, something new for, some, for everybody. Otherwise, I am going to end it here, and I hope to see you guys here on another day at the cottage. Bye, guys.